Read. The same as 5 verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Right. The Bible says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Woe means destruction. You desire the day of the Lord, you don't know what the day of the Lord is about. A matter of fact, when the day of the Lord comes, you see these skies before you? They're going to be covered with chariots. A lot of you won't be able to understand that. Yo, what, they, what the white man doing? He making a movie, yo? He making a movie, yo? No, that's not the white man making a movie, dumb jackass. That's the Lord fulfilling prophecy. I mean, you, you niggas are incredibly stupid, man. And the reason you like that, we kind of understand the reason you like that. The, re <laughs> the reason you like that is because the Lord got you that way. You know what? They don't have to go looking for uh, talent to put on TV. They can just come in the ghetto and film you niggas. Call, call it the nigger hour. Show a bunch of niggas walking down the street like Fat Albert and the gang. <laughs> right. Right, in New York, they got tour buses where Chinese and, 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 and Japanese and all that, they get on these tour buses and go through the ghetto, man, and take about a thousand damn pictures. Just so you niggas, man. So they could go home and say, look, look, we went to the, the ghettos of, of, of America. Look at these pictures we got of all these niggas. Right. Look at, look at the animals in the jungle. Right, we went to the zoo. And we saw the animals in the jungle. Anyway, read on. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Right, to what end is it for you? A lot of you that's in the church, you phony-ass hypocrites, right along with your phony-ass pastor. Ooh, I wish we had some pastors. I wish we had some fat cat pastors down here, man, so we can scandalize them. So we can shame them, man. Them poverty pimps. They call themselves pastors. Them fat Double chin, big butt niggas, pork eating devils calling themselves pastors, running around screwing all, all the women in their congregation, screwing other men's wives. We wish we had a few of you right here right now. The time is gonna come, we're gonna line you up like they do in jail. We're gonna line your ass up and execute you one by one. That's right. That time is coming, and that's gonna be a pleasure phony-ass pastors, phony-ass niggas, calling yourself bishops. Read. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Right, the Bible says the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. It's going to be a terrible day, man. And guess what? That day of the Lord is going to be here. And a lot of you niggas going to get caught with your pants down. When the Lord comes, a lot of you are, you're going to be like Jackie Gleason. Humana, 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 humana. That's how you're going to be. Because first of all, you're going to see a black man. That's number one. Number two, he ain't going to be looking nice. He's going to have a mean attitude. And he's going to have a big sword to boot. And that sword is going to be the laser beams coming out of that main chariot he's going to be in. Because he's going to be in a chariot. That's why they made the movie V, all right? That's why they made the movie Independence Day. That's why they made the movie back in 51, War of the Worlds. What is that dealing with? That's dealing with the chariots of the Lord, all right? Read. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Right, there's gonna be no place to hide. And in that day, you simple ass niggas that believe in Allah, we want to see you call on Allah in that day of the Lord. Allah, Allah, what by Allah, please save me, Allah, Allah. You're going to be barbecued, man. Because the Heavenly Father's name is not Allah. Allah is a simp simply a Hebrew word meaning power. That's all it is. If you read the Hebrew, a lot of you niggas can't read anyway. That's why the Bible said, blessed is he that readeth. Well, a lot of you niggas ain't blessed because you can't read worth a damn. But anyway, if you read the ancient Hebrew language, you'll find out that the word Allah simply means power. Read. Or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Right, there's going to be no place to hide in the day of the Lord. 
That's why in the New Testament, the scripture says that you're going to call for the rocks to fall upon you. Because there's going to be no place to hide in the day of the Lord. The Lord is vicious, man. The scriptures say the Lord Most High is terrible. Like we said, you people out there, you do not know the Lord. You do not know the Lord. Read on. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? The Lord reiterated again. He said the day of the Lord is going to be darkness and not light. And we're in the prelude of the day of the Lord. That's why there's much darkness out here. Give, give me that in the book of Isaiah, the 60th chapter. Hold what you got. Read that part again, matter of fact. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Right. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Now here's what the Lord said about the darkness. Read on. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. Right, the light that the Lord is talking about is us out here teaching. We're the only light that's here in Bridgeport right now. We're the only light. Like they got a radio station, Light FM. That's bullshit. We're the only real light out here, all right? And all you people, all of you are in darkness. Every last one of you are in darkness. And the Lord has brought us into the light. Read it again. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. Right, and we're shining brightly. But a lot of you niggas are like roaches. You know what happens when you turn on the light, right? The, the roaches scatter. Well, a lot of you niggas are like roaches. That's why you can't deal with this light. Just like a roach runs when it sees the light, you be running away from this light because you got that roach mentality. Read on. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. The glory of the Lord shall be seen upon us as it is written. And the glory of the Lord is the spiritual power. Really is this knowledge, but it's the spiritual power too. And it's going to be seen upon us. We have the knowledge right now. Any one of you out there that got a question concerning the Bible, we invite you to come on up and it shall be answered. Any question you got. But don't come up here with no simple ass question talking about, does God wear shorts? Because a lot of you niggas, a lot of you niggas got that kind of mentality. But any legitimate question that you have concerning the Bible, we can answer it according to the power of Yahweh Power Shem Yahweh Shai. Not according to our power, but according to His power. And that's His name, and that's His Son's name. Read on. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Right, the darkness shall cover the earth. The darkness that is talking about is all these bullshit religions, man. Those are nothing but darkness. You calling yourself a Muslim? You are in darkness. You calling yourself a five percenter? You are in total darkness. <laughs> you calling yourself a Baptist? You are in darkness. Because the Lord is not dealing with that. Like you go in the ghetto, right? You see a lot of these churches. The first church of St. Paul. The second church of Timothy. You go in the ghetto. You go in the ghetto. You got six churches on one block. And all of them claim to have the truth. Now, all you got to do is ask yourself, what does the word church mean? The word church means congregation. This is how you break it down, people. You ask yourself, what does the word church mean? The word church means congregation. Now, who is the congregation of the Lord? All you got to do is read the Bible. It clearly tells you that Israel is the congregation of the Lord, the Israelites. So what the hell is all these churches doing in the block, in the ghetto? And furthermore, if the so-called pastor is not teaching you that you're an Israelite, he's not teaching you the truth. That's right. The first thing you got to find out is that you are an Israelite. The second thing is, why did you come into slavery or captivity? Is the, is, does the Lord believe in by, let bygones be bygones? Hell no. The Most High is a vengeful power. The Lord said this, He that toucheth you, O Israel, 
touch if the apple of my